going on guys, it's Rich Lux, and today's video, girl, oh my god. Today's gonna be a fun video, guys, okay? Seriously, we're gonna kick you with the girls, put on some makeup, girl, and this video is sponsored the house, Miss Thing, by Trading Mecca. Now guys, I get so many emails about sponsored videos, but I really felt this one was a good one. They're cruelty free, vegan, and most importantly, they donate part of their proceeds to their local children's hospital for diabetes research. And so I really like that a company not only takes your money, but also invests it in other things to help the commute to tea, you know what I'm saying? But I'm looking out for you guys too, because this is gonna be a giveaway video. I'm gonna be giving you a lot of their makeup. All you have to do is three things, super easy. Like this video, comment on the video, Video. and most importantly check out their Instagram and leave a comment on their Instagram follow them on Instagram just check because you know you're gonna check out their makeup anyway girl I already know y'all so I'm gonna show you some of their palettes here give you some swatches we're just gonna play around with it for a little bit so let's get this video started so I'm gonna show you some of their palettes so this one I think you might like this one a lot so I'm gonna show you this one first so this palette I think it's a pre-order on their website and I'll put the price down below here as well but you can see they're all little shimmers, they're all little glitters. So this is the first one I like and believe the Austral Glitter Palette. Okay, so this one, I think, every time my friends come over, they always wanna steal this freaking palette from me. And they freaking love it because of the blushes. Well, they could use it as blushes or eyeshadows. And I think we're gonna play around with this one too, but I just wanna show it to you. I really like this purple. And look, guys, it's this vibrant. Like, I didn't have to like saturate the video, girl. It's actually this vibrant, girl. So this is another palette that really caught my eye from their website. Boom. Guys, are you serious, okay? And you know I like a palette that bends back and also has a mirror. So check out those colors. We're gonna do some swatches of these two. Now this one here is a very interesting palette to me because it has these little cream type consistencies. Now on their website it says it's contour type palette. If you're one of those girls, you can really get a lot more uses out of these. So we're gonna play around with these just a little bit too. So what's a makeup brand without having a freaking highlighter collection, girl, okay? So I've been using this one before in other videos, but I'm gonna use this one today. So I already kind of have like my base set up. All I gotta do is just pop a little color into it, girl. So we're gonna try this gold right here called crisp okay so definitely a little bit goes a long way girl okay so i'm just gonna dab some of this in here because i don't want to overdo it but then and again i do kind of want to overdo it but then, like i don't want to overdo it so i'm gonna put some here so you can clock how it just like comes in so there you go clock it i just put a little bit on girl not too much honey but let me go ahead and just kind of like intensify this look honey <gasps> come through yes man look at this go girl yes so i usually always go like with this pinky side called like playful or royalty lately i've just been feeling like a lot of like gold type highlighters i think because most people aren't gonna use like a green highlighter but this one i like but i also like the name of this one right here called wealth so we're gonna put that on here so now that i got that on there i'm gonna do a little bit on this side here so crisp is like this color but then if you want like a more gold here you go right there i'm gonna show you this one See that? So here is crisp and there is wealth. So you can see the difference. But you know, I'm trying to be a natural woman. And it's just so hard these days, girl, so hard, honey. All right, so it's coming through. I see it coming through, girl. Yes, ma'am. So I don't know if you can see it there, but I see it and I'm really happy with it. So out of the highlighter palette, I really, like my favorites are gonna be these two right here, Playful Royalty Crisp and girl, Champagne, Well, and Harmony are also some really cool names. But these three up here, for me, I love them so much. They're almost, they're almost like holographic. So here's gonna be Playful. Boom, right here. All right, I'm gonna get you some Royalty, which is right here. And I'm gonna show you some Harmony. So there you go. Here's Well, And here is Champagne on the pinky right there. I'm gonna put it here. So there is champagne right there. You get six highlighters for the price of like some companies charge you for one highlighter. So I really like it. Okay guys, so I'm actually filming like, this is like literally like the base, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna film a drama video next. So I'm like, why not try out all this makeup with you guys? Some of it I already, I've been using before. And y'all were like, what is this? And what is that? And I'll just be like, it's a secret. Or I'm not telling you, or I'll just kind of ignore it. I was really trying out some of the colors before I actually did the video. Uh, but there was a specific color that I really liked that I wanted to try. Okay, and it's gonna be from this palette right here, which is the Halo Rain palette. Now I took this palette with me to Vegas and we, and I actually got ready in the plane with all these makeup brands and I, use a little bit of this color for like a contour, like literally on the plane, it was like a really funny video and I haven't posted it yet. And I'm kind of like, I don't know if people would want to see it or not. 
Um, but there's a color in here, which is this one right here that I really wanted to try under the eye. Um, so I'm gonna use this brush here and it has like this little swoosh effect right here. You can kind of see it. Let me see, there you go. So it's like, I think this type of, I think this brush right here is really good just to really get under the eye. So yeah, so I'm just gonna dab a little bit of it in there and just really soak my brush into it. And then I'm gonna just put some under the eye there. So it's easier for me to just like put it on like this when I'm looking into the mirror. I used to look into the camera here and do it and it was always a freaking fail, right? All right, so I'm gonna put that in here. I like that it's already giving me like color without giving me color, check it out, because you can see it. And if I wanted to intensify it, I can just go back in there and just add some more. So it's kind of like one of those colors that if you just want more pigment, you just go ahead and just go in for some more colors there. All right, so here we go, guys. See how it's like very light and subtle? So it's almost like I'm wearing makeup, but I'm not wearing makeup. All right, I'm gonna put that on right here. Okay guys, give me a second to like really get it in there, honey. And I'm just gonna go ahead and just buff it out. And I'm gonna do the other side. Okay guys, so I went ahead and touched it up on this side. And of course, you know how to put a lot more so I can make this makeup pop. See, I just like it. There's something about it that I just really do like. So I'm gonna go do some swatches here. So here is an orange right here. Boom. Um, here's this beautiful green. Put this right in here and see that here is that lavender purple that i use under my eye i'm gonna put this right in there so you can see that so see how i made it so that's what it looks like with one swatch and here's what it looks like when i just intensified it and there's this blue in here that i just find so smooth and i'm just gonna put that in there boom I mean, you can see there's kind of like holographic. That's the name of the palette. It's a hollow rain palette. It's like holographic rain. Hence the whole entire design of the packaging is holographic. Hello. Okay, so they have this lippy that I've been using, right? Okay, so this one is called Latte. And it's a little bit darker than what I usually do. But so many of you were like, well, with lag, you need to start lining your lips. So what I found interesting about it is I put this one on, right? Here we go. And I usually just go like this. Now it dries down really, really quick. And it has almost like a sweet fragrance to it. And there you go. So I have this on. So now it looks like I have like a naturally nude lip. And what I like doing is getting the white here and just getting just a little bit. And it's almost like, see, it looks white. And then when you do that, it comes off as holographic. So I'm gonna get some of it here. I'm gonna put some on my lip. Like just to, go, just to give it like a little bit of an ombre. Mmm, check this out. I mean, you haven't seen a lip like this, girl. Now this gold is something that I talked about a while ago, compared it to other golds, and it was a really good one. But this red right here sticks out so much, this purple and these colors here. So I'm gonna give it a few swatches. Um, so here is the red right here, and it's so creamy and smooth. I'm gonna put that right in here. I mean, that was like one. I mean, look how red that was. And then we're gonna go with this purple right here, and dab, 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 and I'll put this one right in here. You see that? Okay, and then we have this little bit of a pinky tone. And I'm gonna put this here. All right, and then this one right here sticks out to me too. And I'm gonna put that one right in here. All right, so I'm gonna get some of this color right here. I like this one, I think it really sticks out a lot. I'm just gonna go ahead and just put my little pencil in here. I'm gonna darken the crease, but y'all guys are like, girl, what crease? It's hard to know where the crease is at because it's already hidden underneath all this makeup. But honey, she's there, girl, okay? And so I'm just gonna go like this and just put a little bit on and that's where the crease line is at. And whenever I do it, then autom automatically it shows up. But when it's hidden with this, but when it's hidden with all the white, you really can't see it there. And I just put that right there, and I bother the half. And I just bring it up so that way you guys can really see it and I bring it down. Boom. All right, and then depending how much drama there is today, I'll go ahead and put some extra color down beneath so when I close my eyes, you can see even more colors. I usually put like three different colors all up in here. And looking here, I was like, okay, well, I wanna fill some of that in there. And I just kinda like bring it up a little bit higher and bring it down. So that way you can still see the white and then you can see the color I just added. All right, so let me do the other side, I'll be right back. Okay, and I'm just gonna dab some more in there. And I can fix it. If it's not totally like I want it, I can fix it. Because we're gonna put some more makeup up, up in here, girl. And let me see, what color would look really, like I want something that's gonna like really stand out. So 
I guess we'll go with some of this one here. I wanted to go with over here, but I was like, no girl, I want you to see the colors. All right, little Miss Hello Kitty girl for the win. I'm gonna pack that in right in the corner. And I don't wanna put too much because I don't want it to like get in my eye. But I almost want it to be like whenever you see, like whenever you see me up close, you'll see like that little twinkle. And it packs on really easy. I find that like if you go like this with it, you don't really get the effect I want. So I like getting it on my brush and just like pressing down on it. And once I do that, then it, I get the effect that I want. And then I have to like just finesse it just a little bit. And so then, boom, then you have like a little bit of shimmer. And have like a little bit of shimmer in there. Of course, you know you gotta feather it out, honey. I'm gonna try to bring some of it up in here, girl. Hopefully you can see. I'm just gonna like just dab a little bit and just feather that out. So that way you get a little bit of shimmer all up in that gig, girl. Especially like up high, because you won't really see it if I put it down too low. But it's gonna be there, girl. But it's one of those things that if the light catches it just right, especially like in person or you're out and about, if the light hits it, and that's what, that's what really what I like about glitter is that when that light hits it, girl, you can't help but to just be shook the house. Contour, concealer type palette, like I said, and it's like a cream consistency. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to get me, um, well, get me like this color here and we'll see how this looks. Mm, no, not this one. So let's go a little darker and we'll get this one here. Okay, yeah. And really all you need is, for me at least, girl, I don't know about y'all, girl, huh? I'm trying to figure out which one looks a little better, but we'll find out on camera. And then I'll get this little light one here and I'll just make a little natural little highlight there under the no on the nose and we're gonna blend that out. So let's see how this one looks and see how it, she coming around, honey. So I can still see her in there. When I contour, I always try to bring it down and then underneath the neck so it kind of makes you look more snatched. Let's try this nose. I'm gonna feather this one out. See if I can make my nose look a little bit more skinnier or a little bit more brighter so it's like almost like a natural highlight on it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Girl, girl, I freaking love playing with makeup, I swear. Although I'm telling you, like, I may not be a professional makeup artist, girl. But I am a professional consumer, honey. And I do like it. So uh, this one looks like it was a little bit more easier to blend out than that other color. The other color, I think you can kind of see it still in there, but it kind of makes you give you that chiseled look. So I don't want to blend it out too much where you can't even see it, like this one did, but I know it's there. And I just bring it down this way. Oh, honey. Mm-hmm, oh honey. Okay, all right, so this is the Macaron eyeshadow palette. We didn't even get, we did not even get around to this one. I wanted to do some swatches, how they pop up. All right, I wanna see this one. Oh my gosh, yes! Check it out, look at that. Oh, it's almost like glitter without it being glitter in a way. And then let me just like put them all together. Dude, I'm freaking shady, the house, okay. Girl, I'm so messy, honey, look. Okay, here we go, we're gonna play with it. Okay, here we go, girl. Oh my God, that is me. Girl, yes, I freaking love this. Take that out, okay, cool. So that was this palette, Um, let me see. And I already know there's gonna be girls out there who just wanna see a brown. They just wanna see what the brown looks like right there. Um, and I'm gonna show you the little burgundy here. And there you go. All right, I kind of feel like this palette is for, like this is a special kind of palette. Like it's for that girl who wants to remain, girl, a little innocent, I don't need to wear makeup, I look fly. But then you got like these colors over here that's like, well you know, you know, you know when I go out at night. You know, it's like, this is pretty cool over here. Actually, I wanna, I'm gonna put all these together and see what it looks like. And I'll put this right. Oh, are you serious? Girl, I think I messed up this whole thing. I should have put this one all up in this gig, girl. Oh, okay, let's try the blue. Okay, let's try this little blue here. Okay. Okay. 
Guys, I'm done. This is freaking amazing, okay? Okay guys, thank you for hanging out with me and like kicking with the girl and just playing with makeup and stuff. A big thank you to Trading Mecca for sponsoring this video and I hope that you guys like it and I hope that you guys check out their Instagram. And do remember, this is gonna be a giveaway. I'm gonna be giving away a lot of their makeup. And so we'll go, we'll pick the winner one week from today and I'll announce it in a video. And so yeah, hashtag ad, I love it so much. Okay guys, I have to go because there's freaking major drama and I can't wait to tell you about it. So yeah, so I'll See you in that video. Bye. Honey, 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 honey,